Well, good afternoon. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today. You know, we're excited here at Plant Smart Living. Uh, my wife has always wanted to plant strawberries here, and so over the weekend I visited Ray's nur Nursery near us and ended up buying some some plants, uh, strawberry rooted plants from from Ray's. And so I wanted to talk to you about how to plant those today. So thanks for joining me. So before we get started actually putting the rooted plants in the soil, I just wanted to take a minute with you and let's just talk about these Early Glow variety. The Early Glow is the first strawberry to produce each season. That's why they call it Early Glow. They're June bearers and they're producing all of their berries during a three week period. The berries are smaller in size than other popular varieties but sweeter. Bare rooted plants, uh, the pack of 25 that I bought from Ray's, they cost me twenty uh, ten dollars. So a pack of 25 for ten dollars. And then let's just go over some growing tips. You're to plant strawberries plants in spring and harvest fruit the following year. Grow in well amended soil, nice and loose, and add fertilizer if necessary. Plant your your plants around 12 to 18 inches apart. Plant in full sun, keep plants well watered, and mulch between rows to keep the weeds down. Now here at Plant Smart Living I use my compost amended with topsoil certified compost so it's basically weed free so uh, I don't really have to worry about mulching too much. Uh, for more productive plants remove all the blossoms the first year. And then when planting, keep the roots in a fan shape and keep the crown above the soil line. And so those are some really important pieces of information you want to remember when you go to plant your strawberries. So anyhow, let me grab the plants and we're going to head down and start planting these. So thanks for joining me today. So just to give you an idea where I'm planting, uh, I'm going to be planting the strawberries here in this four foot by eight foot uh, raised garden bed here and then also in re relation to where my other section of garden is it's right up there and so I'm down here where I'm going to be uh, also planting potatoes and and other uh, squashes so these strawberry plants the early glow they came in a, in a bundle with a rubber band on them and so what I've been doing here is just carefully separating them and laying them out separating the roots carefully and just counting them and I'm making sure there's no dead material or roots on these plants and so you just want to open them up and get them all laid out real nice and then uh, I'm going to start laying out holes 12 inches apart so what I did here is I laid out my bed, I came in 10 inches from each end, each side, the 8 foot way, and then about 12 inches apart. And then uh, again you want to make sure you fan out your, your root system so it gives the roots a good good head start in, in all directions. And again and just back fill it up to the crown. And again you want to make sure your soil is nice and loose and uh, so you can easily work it. And I say you know Again, try to spread the roots out. If the soil is nice and loose, you should be able to work work the soil with your hands and then just lightly tamp it down. You don't want to tamp it down too much. And then uh, I'm just going to plant this last one here again, trying to spread out the roots to fan them out. That way the roots will tend to grow in all directions. And then just spread them out and then just backfill lightly just tamping down the, the soil and so again I have my 25 strawberry plants equally spaced within this 
four foot by eight foot bed. So I'm gonna take my row cover there that's behind the planter and then I'm gonna stretch it across over the plants. You know, that way if we get any heavy rains or, you know, won't wash the, the soil away and plus it'll keep the, the deer off them and you know, any kind of critter out of, the, out of the soil. And it'll also allow that soil to be, to warm up. And so let's uh, move that uh, spun bonded polyester row cover over the plants. And I have these bricks here. They really work out nice. I had them left over from a construction job and so they really make, make a nice weight to keep down this cover. You want to do cover them pretty good. I know especially here in Pennsylvania we get a lot of wind and so especially in, the, in March. March is known as the dry windy month. And so you really want to cover these plants real well. In fact, I cover all my seeds with uh, this uh, polyester, the, the row cover. It's also called Agribond. And then you want to water in these plants really well. Got your watering can. We're going to be having some rain here tonight, so I'm just going to give this a light watering. And then I, you know, I also have these labels for the plants that I like to use. And so I, Strawberry the Early Glow. And these uh, homemade labels have been working out real well here in the garden. If you've seen some of my earlier video on how to make these, uh, they really work out great. I also just did a video recently on how to make the labels using a, a laminator. So I'm just gonna put this here in the end of the garden and uh, I'm also going to put a date on it when I planted it. And so there you go. You should be all set. Uh, and again, next year we'll be able to harvest the, the, the uh, strawberries. So anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the section below. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.